In this video, we're going to be comparing and analyzing two dividend paying restaurant stocks, and that's going to be Cracker Barrel and Texas Roadhouse. Now, from a revenue perspective, as we can see, both of these companies over the past decade have done a decent job of growing their revenues. But if we come over here and look at their share price, we're currently looking at Cracker Barrel. If we look at a 10 year chart, we can see they've grown at about 113%. But if we look at Texas Roadhouse, look at the 10 year chart, we can see they have grown at 490 5%. Now let's go ahead and glance at year to date. We can see year to date, Texas Roadhouse has actually done phenomenal. They're up 9.26% while Cracker Barrel is up year to date, or excuse me, they're down 9.77%. So why are we looking at this comparison? That's because some people actually like Cracker Barrel more than Texas Roadhouse. So we're going to see if we agree with that statement today. And one of those reasons is we come down here, we can see Cracker Barrel has a really good starting dividend yield of 4.46, while Texas Roadhouse's starting dividend yield is just sitting at 1.9%. So let's go ahead and jump into my stock analysis spreadsheets and we will find the intrinsic value of both Cracker Barrel and Texas Roadhouse. So like always, we'll come up here and we're going to plug in the stock ticker for Cracker Barrel C B R L. And you can see all of this data is going to automatically load in. Like always, if you'd like to be able to download any of my spreadsheets, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. But we're going to be looking at four different valuation models, Graham's valuation, a discounted cash flow, a multiples valuation, and a dividend discount model. So let's go ahead and open another spreadsheet and we'll go ahead and plug in Texas Roadhouse's stock ticker as well. T X R H. Now I've already noted a few different things. We noted the dividend yield a lot lower for Texas Roadhouse as we can see, but the payout ratio is just sitting at 23.9%, where if we come back over to Cracker Barrel, we can see obviously, like I mentioned, really good starting dividend yield at 4.38%, but that payout ratio is starting to get dangerously high at 91.4%. Now, obviously they both have a similar industry. The beta for Cracker Barrel is about 1.38, so you will see a little bit of volatility. And for Texas Roadhouse, it's sitting at 0.95, so the volatility should be that of the market. But let's start looking at our valuations, and we'll start with Graham's valuation. We can see Texas Roadhouse right here. Let's go ahead and zoom in, and we can see the formula we're using to calculate intrinsic value. This is a formula Benjamin Graham gave to us. So we plug in our variables like earnings per share, our growth rate estimates, which I am pulling for analyst, and then we divide by Y, which is the current yield on AAA corporate bonds. When we plug all these in, we come to an intrinsic value of $82 per share for Texas Roadhouse. And when we do the same for Cracker Barrel, let's go ahead and jump over to Graham's valuation and zoom in. You can see we come to an intrinsic value of $90 per share. So the intrinsic value slightly higher for Cracker Barrel, but look where it's currently trading at. It's currently trading quite a bit below that intrinsic value, but so is Texas Roadhouse. So while the intrinsic value for Cracker Barrel is a little bit higher, um, it really doesn't mean a whole lot in the situation since the intrinsic value according to Graham's valuation is lower than the current price. But let's go ahead and move forward and look at our discounted cash flow model. And the discounted cash flow model is one of the places that Texas Roadhouse really impressed me. We plugged in the historical free cash flow as you can see right here. So we can see our year over year growth estimates. Now it did obviously slow down a little bit in 2019 and 2020, but we can see we've seen a huge jump up in 2021. The average growth rate over the past few years is about 36%. So moving forward, I'm staying in line with analyst expectations of about 16% free cash flow growth. That is very fast, but I projected that to the future free cash flows of the company and found the present value of this future free cash flows, added them together, added Texas Roadhouse's cash and cash equivalents, and subtracted out their total debt to get their equity value. After I did that, divided by the shares outstanding, and I came to a discounted cash flow price per share of $163. Now that is quite a bit higher than the current trading price for Texas Roadhouse. Let's go ahead and jump back over to Cracker Barrel, and we will glance at the discounted cash flow model. Now something you'll notice, for Cracker Barrel, we actually have a growth rate estimate of about 10%. I saw a lot of analysts projecting that growth rate. I personally think that is actually a little bit aggressive. I think that's very, um, just a little bit aggressive. I think it's possible they reached out, but in reality, it's probably going to be closer to more like 8.5%. So let's go ahead and plug that into our future free cash flows. You can see we basically went through the same process here. And so when we come down here, we can see we came to a discounted cash flow price per share of $67.85 per share, quite a bit lower than that current trading price for Cracker Barrel. Now let's go ahead and move forward and look at our multiples valuation. And if you're not familiar with this valuation model, this is essentially a way to see how the market is valuing companies that are similar in structure 
using a price to earnings multiple. So you can see we're taking four companies right here that are similar to Cracker Barrel, taking their stock price, dividing by the earnings per share to get their price to earnings multiple. We take the average price to earnings multiple and multiply by Cracker Barrel's earnings per share to come to an intrinsic value of $114 per share, quite a bit closer to the current trading price than the other valuation models. Now let's go ahead and glance at the same for Texas Roadhouse. Again, you can see the comparable companies that we're using right here. When we plug all these in, we come to an intrinsic value of $72.97 per share. Again, a little bit lower than that intrinsic value. Now, the last valuation model that we're gonna be looking at is the dividend discount model. And as a value dividend investor, this is one of the most important valuation models that I typically look at. And that's because it values the company based on how much they pay out in dividends and how much that dividend is increasing over time. So for Texas Roadhouse right here, you can see I plugged in the quarterly dividend payout so we can see how much they pay out each year and this allows us to see our year over year growth rates now this is pretty unbelievable this is not something i was expecting to see from a company like texas roadhouse but the year over year dividend growth rates were 19 percent 20 percent 33.33 percent and 15 percent that is unbelievable dividend growth this is the type of dividend growth that allows dividend growth investors to receive really high dividend yields on cost over time we can see that's an average growth rate of 21.85 percent so moving forward i'm projecting a growth rate of about seven 0.25% for the dividends for this company and a discount rate of 8.5%, which gives them a dividend discount model price per share of $157. Now let's go ahead and jump over and do the same for Cracker Barrel as we can see right here. We'll jump to the dividend discount model. Now, right here, our growth rates 4%, 4%. Now over the past couple of years, it has not grown its dividend any whatsoever. As you can see right here, I do have a note. During this time, they have paid a couple of special dividends, but it really hasn't been anything too noteworthy. So the dividends have been a little bit unpredictable and so has the dividend growth. And that's a little bit of a red flag that we can see they haven't increased their dividend any over the past few years, but it really makes sense when we jump over to our stock screen and we saw their payout ratio is a little dangerously high. So that is not something you wanna see from a dividend investor. Obviously a good starting dividend yield, that's not gonna be enough to push their intrinsic value higher than their current trading price. So let's go ahead and jump over to our output tab for both of these positions. Now we'll look at Cracker Barrel first. We can see all four valuations gives us an average intrinsic value of $88.69 per share. And when we do the same for Texas Roadhouse, we'll go ahead and jump over. We come to an intrinsic value when they're all averaged together of $119.19 per share. So which company and which stock is better? Well, really, when we look at it from a value dividend investor standpoint, we can see the intrinsic value for Texas Roadhouse does appear to be quite a bit higher than the current trading price. When we look at the same for Cracker Barrel, that is just not the case. And there's a couple of other reasons that I'm drawn more to Texas Roadhouse in this scenario. And that's obviously I want to see free cash flow growth over time because that's going to allow the company to increase their dividends over time. So when I saw this dividend growth from Texas Roadhouse, that was something that really excited me. This is definitely a company I'm going to be adding to my watch list. I've seen some other YouTubers such as Joseph Carlson talk about this stock before, but it wasn't until I really started to dive deeper a little bit into it that I realized that this is a company that really falls in line with my investment objective. So I will be adding them to my watch list. If you're interested in Cracker Barrel, just keep in mind, they do have a good starting dividend yield, but they are at a little bit of risk with that payout ratio. So that's definitely something to take note of, like I said earlier, but there you go. There is a dividend stock matchup. Texas Roadhouse is definitely a company, like I said, I'm going to add to my watch list and may consider buying shares in the future. Let's go ahead and say we wanted to apply a 10% margin of safety in this scenario. You can see based off of that, our acceptable buy price would be about $107 per share, meaning now may be a good time to consider buying. If you'd like to be able to download this spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.